Hello and welcome to all of you on my productive and skill oriented platform. So we get the basic idea, basic concept about the remote desktop services. Right now in this episode, we are going to implement remote desktop services inside server 2022. So at level one, we will go and install remote desktop services and at level two, we will definitely verify the components of the remote desktop services. And at level three, we are going to configure and activate the remote desktop services on our infrastructure, which is running on server 2022. So let's begin the journey. So the deployment options are really, really simple. Now we are on our server, server 2022, and we have server manager window over here. So from here, we will start the deployment of remote desktop services and see what kind of features and options available regarding the deployment of Windows Server 20. 22. So we just need to click on the manage button and here we find eight roles and features. So we will click on this option and proceed the deployment of RDS. So when we click on the option here, we will begin with the wizard and click on the next button. And here you can see role based or feature based installation is automatically selected. So we will follow the default options and click on the next button because other options are related to the VDI infrastructure. So we will go with the default options and click on the next button. Here we have the server information. The server name is mentioned. IP address is over here and server 2022 standard edition is available. So we select the option of the server machine and click on the next button. Now here you, you can see the roles of a, a server machine and from these roles we will only click on remote desktop services. So we just click on this option and click with next option and here we have the features option so if you try to install some supported features for rds so you can select it otherwise we will follow the default options so we will click on the next button and here we go with some advanced options related to the rds deployment so right now we have six options so from these six options we will only select two options which we generally require for common deployment of remote desktop services. The first option is remote desktop licensing, which require for KL licensing deployment. And the next one is remote desktop session host because this option will create sessions for end users. OK, so we select the both options and click on the next button. And here we go with the summary of RDS services and we will click on the restart button. So as the role installed, this machine will automatically reboot. And after this reboot, we will definitely verify the installation of RDS services. So here we go with the deployment. Now here you can see that the installation process is almost done on this server and you can verify that installation succeeded on this specific machine. So we just click on the close button the configurations from the manage option here. Here you can see if I click on the add roles and features over here. And here you can see that the uh, the notification options is available over here. Remote desktop services will stop working in 119 days. So by default, whenever we installed remote desktop services, so it will allow 120 days of grace period. So this notification is for uh, the specific grace period, which is default, uh, which is by default available with remote desktop licensing feature. So here you can see if I click on the next uh, next option and uh, now the remote desktop services is available and you can see that we only installed two roles while four roles are remaining over there. So we just cancel this installation process and now uh, we can also verify this installation process from Windows administrative tools. So when we 
open the remote, uh, we open the administrative tools. So here you can see remote desktop services available over here. So we click on the remote desktop option and here remote desktop licensing manager feature is available. So we just double click on this option and we will definitely allow these settings. And now here you can see that now this role is installed on this machine, but we did not activate on uh, this specific uh, machine. Okay, so if we want to activate this role, so the process is really simple. We just click on the uh, machine name, right click over here and here you can see activate server. So we click on the activation option. We just click on the next button and automatic connection recommended. So next. And here it requires few uh, default information. So I just implement the default information over here and I click. Udo stake over here and select the US region. Okay. So US. And here we go, okay? And we click the next option. We implement the few other informations over here. Click. Now here you can see, Completing the uh, complete uh, completing the activate server visit. So we just click on the we uncheck this option and just finish it. And here you can see now this remote desktop services option is installed on this machine and activated as well.